What up, Woody? We here. Real and Sister Browns fan. Ooh. Doing his thing. You know, doing a run up real and sister thing. Um I guess I'll start off with where was the pregame video? Um, pregame video. I'll tell you it's like this. <clears throat> I was on a retreat and I knew that the when I was on a retreat that I might not been able to do the pregame. So I try I was gonna try to do the pregame. Um, at the same time that um, I did the uh, the Wednesday episode, but um, it just things kind of happened, um, and I ran out of time, so I wasn't able to accomplish that. I thought I'd be able to be back on time to do this, but um, unfortunately, it didn't. I didn't, and um, so here I am. Um, I'm going to try to do a double special, so. Uh, I guess, I mean, in the pregame, I was going to mention a little bit about the top 100 list, and I know that we got um, quite a handful of players on there. Um, definitely thought Jarvis could have been up a little bit higher, but but glad that he's on there nonetheless. So, But, uh, yeah, I guess people was hating on Baker about where he's at or he, that he should be on the list even. But I think they just kind of give him projections, you know. I think that's what they think he's about to be. He might even be better than that. But that's that. All right, so we just got done playing the New York Giants. Um, Thought it was going to be more of a Freddie Kitchens special, if you will, in regards to just TV time. Really wasn't any of that. Um, I think they had their fun with it. And plus, it was so short-lived. And they're probably trying to rewrite um, his reputation. I mean, it wasn't even that bad. It wasn't like going 0-16 or, or anything. But it would definitely, you know, you some you could be like, okay. Um, I mean, the team that they did have, and it was like, once Kevin got it, it was like, okay. So what happened? You know, but so many different things and the past is the past so why am i bringing it up i mean it's freddie kitchens and he's coaching the giants but what i can say is we did win um and i mean that's not even with the starters so it's like we got a very competitive team um so I got a few mentions as I was watching the game. This time I wrote them down. I shouldn't have said that because now that made me look corny. But I didn't want to forget because, like, there's a lot of times where I try to do these, like, off the top. And then, like, after I post the video, I be like, damn, I wanted to mention this or whatever, whatever. And I just let it go because that's how I roll with the show. It's just, like, whatever comes, whatever comes. But this time... I wanted to be short because it was like when you sometimes when you watching the beginning of the game and stuff that you forget you forget because of like the end of the game stuff. So it was like, all right, you want to fit everything. I wrote down that I overlooked the first time. Um, Michigan is approved, y'all. I, I I seen Michigan, and he's out here. He's Michigan is number 11 on our team, on the Cleveland Browns. M Michigan people Jones. But I just call him Michigan. Michigan has improved so much, and I'm very impressed. Um, but highly, I'm, 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 I'm impressed with his blocking because that one run that DeErnest had early in the first quarter, a lot of that was open because cause Michigan was so physical with his blocking. And um, I didn't... I mean, I knew he was kind of a taller receiver, but just because you're taller doesn't mean that you're about to be physical because I know he was supposed to have like a – supposed to be like a speed guy too. But um, the way that he's out here blocking, I mean, he's really separating himself at – and Higgy, Hollywood better – he better be watching out because he really, he really kind of like taking that third receiver spot, honestly. Like, I mean, between – like I said, between the blocking and between the catching and the first game and the second game – if he remains consistent like that, I mean, I'm glad glad he's playing above what his school, you know, presents to him. I think that's because he's in Ohio now, and it's like now that he he should have been here in the first place. But once you're in Ohio, you get to like 
the spirit, the football spirit just kind of like just takes over you and then you just improve regardless if you was from Michigan or not, you know, but bad pride of him on that. Uh, so I just wanted to mention that because I know I didn't mention that the first game, but I figure everybody else is going to mention it because anyway, because he was playing so good and everybody been talking about him. So I, sometimes I do talk. I don't talk about stuff that's the obvious because if it's obvious, everybody going to talk about it. So what you want to hear me say it for? You know what I mean? I'm trying to I'm trying to point out stuff that maybe not be so obvious from a fan perspective. You know what I'm saying? Or a media perspective, if you want to call me media now. You know what I mean? I don't mind, but I'm the fan. The real and sister Browns fan. Um, <clears throat> second I wanted to mention was uh, about Case Keenum. Uh, I have wrote down that I, I just felt like, all right, well, I think, like, Case, as far as overall his game, when I watch today, I just see, like, a solid quarterback, you know. Um, for one, I'm very um, happy that he's – I'm glad he's on this team. Uh, you know, I think, like, because of him knowing the offense so well and then also – you know, having playoff experience, being a, a winning quarterback in this league before. Um, I, I think we couldn't ask for a better backup quarterback to compete with Baker. Not backup, but a better quarterback to compete with Baker. Obviously, this is Baker's team. We spent the number one overall pick with him. But everybody know iron sharpened iron, you know, cliche. But... Um, but really, like, I think it's very, I think it's very important for Baker, you know what I'm saying, to have that type of competition. So in my opinion, I think, like, Baker kind of owes Case, owes Case some, um, just something, like a really cool-ass prize or, like, just some cool-ass, like a cool-ass gift prize. You got to win the prize, but, you know, a cool-ass gift or something like that. And AVP. Baker owes AVP, too, but... Um, but no, I think, you know, Case, I mean, I, I feel sorry for him because it's like he's so good. And I know eventually, like, he, like people, there's probably going to be some trade offers for him. I don't know what would happen, but I would hope that he's still here on a team or whatever like that. Just like I said, just because, like, of, I think, the camaraderie that we got as a team and the camaraderie between him and Baker. I just think him is a, him and Baker is a good fit. And and like I said, I I think like I just want to let him know as far as a fan perspective that I really appreciate him being on the team and how important his role is, even though he's not getting the snaps that he wants. And I I, I feel that it's like the old clock is is running down, and it's like I want to be out there, but I mean this is Baker's team, but it's like it is what it is, man. I mean, do what you want. If he wants out, I don't know. I hope not. But like I said, Baker owe him a very cool ass gift or something. Just something. Um, and also, like I kind of noticed. I think I made mention to this person before, or this player on my on my on 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 uh, my show before. But maybe, like I feel like not enough. Because it's somebody I always forget about it was Malcolm Smith. Now, um, he's a Super Bowl winner, and it's like I keep forgetting about that. So it's like I see why he's still on the team because I know I didn't mention him when I was talking about top players to keep or whatever like that. But he ended up being the one that we end up keeping. And I, I just think he is a solid linebacker for us. Um, I don't know why I over always looked him, but. I mean, definitely his contributions, when I, like, look back and I just collectively think about how many times, like, I've seen him make plays, like, his contribution is definitely there. Um, so, I mean, had a few missed tackles. Uh, excuse me, I didn't mean to talk about negatively about that because there's a lot of things I could talk about negative right now, and I'm not just about to do that today because it's preseason and we won, and as long as we win and allow them to find out what they did wrong, I don't need to sit up here and repeat it <clears throat> because – for one, I'm not the professional. Um, two, uh, that's not what I do here. I mean, I will talk negatively if we lost, but we won. Since we won, I'm just going to talk about the positives, and that's how I do it. Uh, second, uh, moving on from that, uh, Jay Hudson. Um, that dude's a baller. I mean, I know that he's raw is from what they're saying, and I guess I could see that, but, 
I mean, that dude just looks like a monster on the field. Like, like I know I said it in the last video, but that dude looks kind of scary. Like, like he's about to wreck somebody. Like, he's looking for the smoke. You know what I'm saying? Like, where that? Like, I'm there. You know what I'm saying? You ain't never there. I'm always there. That's how he, <laughs> that's how he be, man. He be ready to reek on somebody for real, man. And, I mean, that's just, uh, you know, that's pleasant to see. Um, there was a tight end on the team named Franks. Um, I think he gives us a little more depth as far as, like, um, you know, the tight end room go. We already got a lot of people in between the Joku, uh, um, Bryant, uh, Hooper, and, um, oh, yeah, the other dude, the Ivy guy, Steven Carlson, and uh, now Frank. I mean, I think you could have five, but, like, this is going to be a, a really hard team to, to like, make cuts with. You know what I'm saying? It's, like, really what you need because it's, like, there's a lot of receivers. There was a lot of good receiver play, too, between, mm, man, it's getting crazy, man. And I don't want to say it because it's, like, some dudes that it's, like, I have an attachment to, but it's, like, you know, you get opportunities to, like, score touchdowns. You know, you got to bring those in. You know, you can't let the ball hit you in the chest. You got to sometimes catch it with your hands. You know what I'm saying? Especially if, if you know what I'm saying, this right receiver room, this, uh, you know, this wide out room is, is uh, it's kind of cramped. You know what I'm saying? It's kind of stuffy in here. You know, a lot of air being taken up and breathed out. A lot of um, carbon dioxide just going right back out of that, you know, and, and you can't. You know, human bodies don't sustain off carbon dioxide. So, you know, we're going to have to make some room in here. But um, with that being said, uh, Kadero Hodge, I mean, he scored. You know what I'm saying? Did what he was supposed to do. And uh, uh, Davis had that nice-ass catch. But you know what? I think Davis, if it had to come down to it, like I don't think Davis is going to make it. Even though I'll, I'm very highly, super-duperly impressed with his ability to track the ball and catch it in the air and high point it, I seen that blocking, and that blocking is a little sus. You know what I'm saying? Like, I even say, like, even for O, you know what I'm saying? Even though I never see O be, like, a super dominant blocker, he at least impacts the, the blocking game enough, I feel like. Davis, he kind of seems like he's getting thrown around there at times, but maybe it's just the times that I see it. You know, maybe that's not consistent, but, I mean, that's kind of what I've saw so far, and, I mean, I'm just going to go with it. See, I'm talking about negative stuff. My bad, yo. I'm just saying, like, the separation as far as, like, what was it, what ain't. This ain't my decision to make, obviously. I'm not the fucking coach. I'm not GM. I'm not P. Diddy. I'm none of that. You know what I'm saying? So, I'm just saying, like, I really like him, but I can see why. Because, like, like I said, I got ties to other people, somebody that should have made a touchdown. You know what I mean? Should have been there because now you got me like over here thinking like, man, this room is kind of crowded. If you can only have six, you know what I'm saying? Like, all right, oh, uh, uh, Juice Landry. And then you got, now I'm thinking Michigan about to be number three. So you got, you got, um, you got Hollywood, Cadero. Oh, man. And then if it's like the last one, I mean, I get Davis over Natson. Mmm, mmm. I mean, it might happen because we got what's his name? Um, <clears throat> what's his name? Uh, Demetric Felton, the rookie, and um, I mean, he could play the special teams with JoJo doing. Not saying like, I mean, like a, you know, like Hawk said, shout outs to the little guys. You know what I'm saying? Under five ten, but it's like, oh man, I mean. It's hard. I hate cuts. I hate cuts because it's like who you get. You you like guy. You like so many of these guys, and it's like you know. But which one makes the team? Because like I said, if we just gonna have six, but then you also want to like maybe have seven on reserve because you. I don't want to say, but health is a concern. I think what I talked about a few videos, maybe one, two, or three back, maybe four or five. <laughs> um, that we was gonna have to do low management for certain position groups. And wide receiver is definitely one of those groups. So, like, I mean, yeah, maybe we need to have seven. 
just in case. You know what I mean? Because you're gonna have you're gonna have some switching already in and out. So like maybe JoJo stays because of that, but you also needed him to make that play that you know what I'm saying he had the opportunity on too. You know we can't just be using you as special team guy, but that's where Demetri Felton kind of come in. I know like he just kind of like the utility knife or whatever call you, but um, I mean this is a hard decision to kind of like go through um overall if you ask me if it was just me making a decision that they about to make, but. That's why they get paid the big bucks, and they're going to figure it out. And A.B. and his crew, they've been able to figure it out. We got to the playoffs last year. So, I mean, complete trust in A.B. Um, at this point, you know, uh, obviously, you know, I can give them a little bit more, like maybe a half a point because Michigan is turning out better than what I thought he would. Um, not that I thought he was going to be bad anyway, but it was just – because so and then even um what else i don't know i mean that was the really like biggest thing for me um that he kind of really blew everything with to me but like i said man michigan came on and 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 he's he's played some good football for the cleveland browns and um I mean, this is his second year, so, I mean, even though he Michigan, he Ohio now, and my, that's how I look at it. You know, he may be like, oh, I ain't owning that, whatever, I ain't claiming it, and I can feel it because, like, like we serious about it, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, since he is on the brown, since he does wear that brown and orange, it's like, even though you Michigan, you Ohio now, dog, you know what I'm saying? It ain't about, you know, where you from, it's where you at. And... <laughs> So why do I keep calling him Michigan? Is because I have to remember. I have to remind myself until until I in case I get too excited because you know I can't. I just can't do it. I can't see myself going crazy for a Michigan player. You know what I'm saying? Getting all barky, hoopy. I might jump up and down. I might slap some fives and this that, and the third. But I'm gonna go back to that. Hmm, and I'm gonna just be like, hmm. like <laughs> just give it a nod. Like, hmm. <laughs> like good job <laughs> so that's that but uh and then I had a uh, number 92 um on the defense do kind of remind me like of a fusion of Sheldon Richardson and Adrian Claiborne which I like because I liked it both of I, I was sad when, when we cut Sheldon and I really like Adrian when he when he came and played for us uh, dude kind of looked like an, a fusion of them both. So, like, I'm excited to see what he on. See, hopefully he make the team and see what he about, you know, what he going to do, uh, especially since they let Sheldon go, and I'm still kind of hurt about that. But it is what it is. And uh, a dude named Statton, he was making the play in the second half. Uh, to me, I've I, I seen that excellent high and, uh, what is it called, hand and eye coordination. So, uh so, yeah, I mean, like I said, GMs, P. Diddy, Kev, coaches, Jeezy, <laughs> AVP, um, they got they, they got their work cut out for them as far as who's going to make this team. And uh, Prefer, I forgot about him. Sorry, sir. Um, they got their work cut out for them. And... Uh, Let's just see what happened, man. I mean, game next week, playing playing Kansas City Chiefs. Um, ain't gonna say too much because we just talking about we just beat the Giants, but I mean, they've been kind of quiet too. I mean, maybe because like I said, I haven't really been getting into the media and trying to find out and follow people. But it's like Patrick Mahomes is like the best thrower of the football I ever seen, and I hope Baker heard that. I heard Baker knows I feel this way. So that he can turn the fuck up because Patrick is is dope when it comes to throwing that damn football. Um, I mean, damn, uh, the shit that he done, like I didn't seen him make, and I hate him. I cannot stand Patrick Mahomes, but when it, I mean when you see it, you see it. It's like you can't you can't be a hater on that. Like I could try like all right, Tom Brady. That's I could definitely be a hater on that because even though I know he he got game. 
but you're still a fucking cheater at the end of the day. I mean, not once, not twice, not three, but four, maybe all your times. It just seemed like, no. And it was like, when y'all did win, it was like y'all won because of the defense. So it really wasn't you. Yeah, you took care of what you had to take care of, but the defense normally won it. Anyways, wanted to make this a good one because I did miss that pregame. <clears throat> make sure y'all like and subscribe. Share it. You know, put it out there. This is the best Browns content available besides the Browns.com. Or not the Browns. What is it? Uh, the Cleveland Browns stuff. Nathan Zagura, he definitely killing my shit. You know what I'm saying? I ain't no way I'm going to compete with him. But, um, but if you want, like, real life fan stuff, you know what I'm saying? Like, where it's like, I'm giving it to you real from real football perspective. No, I ain't go deep. I ain't go college and none of that stuff like that. But I know the game. I played the game. So it's like, and I'm going to just tell you what I see, man, because I ain't got nothing to hide. It's the real uncensored piece.